white male says a bunch of racial slurs, pulls out a gun on children. Well, you know, he gets no jail time. Let me remind you of the video. Here it is. Put up his picture full mask. Let me give you the update as to what has happened or should I say not happened. In an update, a Miami man who threatened black teenagers with a gun will only get probation. The man in the video, his name is Mark Bartlett, 55 years of age. He's a businessman. Bartlett pleaded guilty. He said he did it. He pleaded guilty to committing a hate crime with a deadly weapon. He said he did it. He committed this hate crime against teenagers who happen to be black in Florida, which means he can say he did it. And it is a hate crime, which means there should be an aggravator, right? It uh, extended punishment, enhanced sentencing. Not for him. Didn't happen that way. Sentenced to 10 years probation. He also has to do community service, no jail time. The victims were a group of young cyclists gathering on Martin Luther King Jr. Day. This was a day of service to protest two primary causes, the potential loss of affordable housing in Miami's Liberty City neighborhood and gun violence. The anti-gun violence demonstration was called Wheels Up, Guns Down and featured mostly young black males on their bikes, motorcycles and all-terrain vehicles. Participants not only rode their bikes between traffic, uh, but put on elaborate shows that included popping willies and riding while standing up. Once again, this is an anti-gun anti-gun movement, okay? Bartlett argued that he confronted the teens to defend his girlfriend who was already in a shouting match with a group after she demanded that they move. The woman accused one of the teens of running over her foot. Initially, he was charged with carrying a concealed firearm. Those charges were adjusted with the prosecution adding other counts of aggravated assault with prejudice. In total, Bartlett pleaded guilty to five different Counts. The man said he did it. A plea agreement will require the Broward County man to fulfill hundreds of hours of community service, take some anger management classes, attend racial sensitivity training with the NAACP, and relinquish his rights to possess a firearm for those 10 years that he's on probation. Lastly, two additional firearms, uh, two additional terms, excuse me, of the deal are that Bartlett is forbidden to have any contact with the victims. And had to appear before uh, the court and apologize with an emphasis on how negatively impacting his use of derogatory slurs was on the victims. I apologize for my conduct that day, he says. I was wrong to use those words and direct the pain that my words have caused anyone around or anyone in the vicinity. Both Joseph and Cruz were present to his apology and asked about the outcome of the case. Joseph said, to be honest, I'm not really happy. They should have put the belt on him all the way. No remorse because it was the other way around. Uh, They would have put it on us. That is correct. Uh, Black male, just think about it. Black male walks up to um, a bunch of children, um, white children, pulls out a gun, calls them racial slurs, all right, threatens them, drives off, only gets charged with a concealed weapons um, charge. And then later, because of national protests and outrage, it is enhanced. And then at the conclusion, zero jail time for the black male who did this. That will never happen, okay? That narrative will never happen. All right, dear brother, thoughts? I would take it a step further. Uh, I mean, if this had been a black man who had pulled a gun on a white child and then sort of drove off, you know that the police would have gone and perhaps yeah. opened fire on that man. That guy would not live to see the end of the street. Yeah. Our society is messed up and this guy should have gotten jail time. I'm glad he's got community service. 
Uh, but man, what a what a disaster. Yeah. 